Decision Plus has been and still is a leading stock market service provider. From training to coaching, we cover it all. Try both our software as well as our coaching site completely free for 10 days without obligation. No credit card is needed to sign up for the trial. The trial subscription will be automatically canceled for you at the end. DecisionPlus.com, your stock market service center. Real-time coaching has been created. We search and classify critical reports and technical movements. You can visualize or hear the best buying and selling opportunities. Get real-time advice all day long and three live coaching shows per day. Let us do the work and save your time for trading. Try MarketGurus.tv free without obligation for 10 days in the menus above. Market Vision Plus is the trading companion of so many investors. Make your fundamental and technical analysis easy with Canada's number one stock market decision making software. Research, decide, and follow your positions with Market Vision Plus. See the menus just above this program and try Market Vision Plus for 10 days without any obligation after the show. When it comes to day trading, Trader Plus is the right tool. Track 50 quotes simultaneously, create dozens of quick lists, display as many as 30 real-time intraday charts at the same time. Watch the action with candlesticks or bar charts as fast as 10 seconds. See the market by sectors. Use the chart models already prepared for you. Try Trader Plus for 10 days in the menu above without any obligation. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Swing Trading Show, Wednesday, September 30th, 2015. Okay, um, today we have a market that rose right at the beginning. And um, let me show you this. Uh, and um, what, what type of market do, do, we, do we have, you think, you know? So far, it's just a rebound. Seems to be impressive uh, at first, but I, I think it's a, a normal and usual uh, rebound as we have seen so many times. So when you look at the daily chart, first of all, the US dollar is just bouncing back today, still have no direction. It's been like, it's been like that since uh, last week. So. Um, and, and it's going to be an important movement as well as uh, the, the crude oil whenever it, uh, it breaks up or down there. And uh, we, are, we are seeing right now the same thing on every market. You see last night the Japan market uh, jumped back and the only news we got from there was that the uh, industrial production uh, was up to 1%, so it's not that much. So it's a pullback, and uh, the, the, uh, the bearish cycle haven't even been reversed. So, and uh, look at the China market, it's so little, it's not that much. So the, the bearish cycle remains valid, and the downtrend remains valid also. Uh, in London, it's a little bit uh, stronger, but there too, we have the same scenario. We have seen that type of pullback before. Actually, we got one three days ago, and uh, we had one before too. So if you uh, look at it uh, uh, completely, it's still a downtrend. So uh, we cannot uh, call uh, the game over yet. The reason why it is bouncing back there is that we have reached that such uh, that that so important support here of uh, the uh, um, end of August. So that that was mostly the same thing everywhere. So if you look at the, the spy, it's the same. So we were at the, you know forget about this little quote that was just the too far. 
uh, effect, we could say, and that's bouncing back at the real support. So, but it, we're not at the top of the day. So, if you look at the spy uh, on a, a one, uh, let's say, two-minute chart here, so you can see that this morning it went up but then never continued the movement and since then it's still coming back so that's the reason why i think it's it is a pullback and i think at the top this morning the institution has uh, did profit of the occasion to sell some more and uh, so it definitely it's not a place to enter the market so and uh, when you look at the nasdaq market it still show a pull a, a, a usual pullback and the Dow Jones is showing the same thing, and the TSX as uh, uh, and the TSX as well. So certainly we see a big number, but I don't think we have uh, to uh, be uh, so impressed by that number. So it could be temporary. We don't know what's gonna what's gonna come up. Uh, the, the the job came out with a little bit more job than expected in the states, but it has no effect on, on the other market. And all of the market are doing the same thing today. And uh, and there are some sector that did help, especially in the states, uh, as uh, the uh, uh, semiconductor uh, uh, sector, because uh, this stock here, uh, as ships on a semiconductor, has a, a, a bid to buy the company. And many times when that happened, you uh, you see the other stock doing the same thing, except that the stock, most of the stock uh, within the sector rose this morning but uh, are not really continuing the movement because since it, it, it uh, opened on the upside this morning it started coming back down the nicest stock was this one here because it has a very nice support there and it totally broke the uh, short-term resistance and did reverse the trend but the only problem is that the uh, movement is not holding so we have lost about uh, 50 percent of this morning movement already so if you have not entered in there so do not do it right now because if it breaks under 665 it may go lower so the buy signal would be at 675. There is another sector that is responsible for that movement in the States, and which is the healthcare sector. Uh, and uh, uh, remember that uh, uh, Hillary Clinton said that she was going to battle the uh, biotech uh, company because uh, she thinks they exaggerate with the prices and everything. And that's the reason why the whole sector went down that much. And But we have uh, now uh, reached the uh, a, a, a bottom and from that that's where we'll know if this is going to be to become a new bullish cycle or it would just simply get back down again until the low of the day there where if you see, if you see it on the on the weekly chart so that that would come up as far as this so uh, nothing tells that it is the end yet okay so we got to be uh, careful in it so um, I'm going to open the yes and no button because I'd like to know if you are if you have a position in the uh, healthcare uh, sector no matter if it's in the States or in Canada but uh, yes or no are you exposed to the healthcare uh, sector please answer and um, so um, if we um, uh, look at uh, the um, sector in particular, uh, you remember I've been seeing that since quite a bit. Um, oh yeah, that's quite a bit of pair of person. 25% uh, uh, percent of our viewer are exposed to the healthcare sector. So uh, a little, it probably been tough, except that some of you may have played it on the downside. So, you know, because some people can short the sector and uh, so you can, we can play the market on, on the upside. So I'm going to raise the uh, yes and no button again. And I would like to know if you are playing the sector on the downside. I mean, I'm talking about the healthcare sector. Have you shorted the, the, the healthcare sector or sold your position uh, in the healthcare sector? Here's the uh, yes and no button. 
And uh, uh, we had uh, a few questions that I have entered also. We'll be answering that a little bit later. I have a little survey for you today, and I'm going to test uh, your knowledge also because I have a, 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 a little exam of four very simple uh, questions. Uh, so we have 29% uh, of uh, the uh, 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 viewers, uh, participants that uh, have uh, uh, played the healthcare sector on the downside, and uh, I presume you are making money out of it. So, um, in the first uh, commercial, uh, we'll, I'll be passing uh, the, the first uh, survey. For now, uh, have a look again at uh, the um, 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 crude oil right now. So the crude oil, since the last uh, nice uh, bullish cycle we had there, it's been a while. All the month of September, the sector has been, si have been sideways. And, uh, and uh, from week to week, the buyer never got as, as high as before. But the sellers always came back to the same level. So usually this type of formation tells us that we, uh, does it, there are big chances that the sector will break down. But still, it can happen on both sides. So what we have to watch there for the next few days, because we're getting to the, the tip of the triangle here. So when, so sooner or later, it will have to escape one side or another. So uh, above $15, it's going to be a buy signal. And under $14, it's going to be a sell signal, especially if the volume of transaction increases during that time. So, uh, and it's a nice movement to watch. And look at the, what happened today. So, uh, UNG, which represents the gas, uh, has broken again its support. And uh, it is now totally bearish again with that new low. So, here is the survey. Find answers to your questions by emailing your host at btm at decisionplus.com. Five good reasons to manage your investments with National Bank Direct Brokerage. Commission fees fixed at $9.95 anytime for all clients and starting at only $6.95 for active investors. No administrative fees if you hold at least $20,000 in your accounts. Registered accounts available in U.S. currency. Powerful tools to help you manage your portfolio. Award-winning customer service and satisfaction levels amongst the highest in the industry. To learn more, visit nbdb.ca or call us now. Real-time coaching has been created. We search and classify critical reports and technical movements. You can visualize or hear the best buying and selling opportunities. Get real-time advice all day long and three live coaching shows per day. Let us do the work and save your time for trading. Try MarketGurus.tv free without obligation for 10 days in the menus above. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for answering the, uh, our survey. And um, uh, as a result, uh, we have at uh, the first question, my preferred exchange is uh, NASDAQ 22%, New York 22%, TSX 55%, and we got a big zero for uh, the TSX venture. And during the bear markets, I hold my position and I don't buy 22%. I gradually sell my portfolio 22% and I sell uh, and I trade the downside 55.5%. And um, let's get to the other question. Yeah. And since a few weeks, uh, I trade more 33%. I trade as usual 22% and I trade less 44%, which is normal. And uh, to the last question. Okay, let's go. Oh, I, oh that was the, the last one. Okay, what was the other one? Uh, uh -huh. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, um, and uh, we, we can see that uh, we very we have uh, yeah we only had three questions and uh, uh, the, the bear market really have an effect. We have someone uh, in in webcam, I guess, uh, right now. So uh, who is? Oh, there he is. Hi, Dan. 
Hi. So you have a question for us, Dan? Yeah, my question is, today the stock market uh, will help make it in the end of the bear market? No, it's not. It's, o it's only a pullback, Dan. Uh, we see that very, very often. Uh, the market uh, pushed up, and uh, f first of all, it started in Japan and Asia, and then, and then after that, uh, it happened in in the London market, and it's just a a kind of a uh, effect that is everywhere, and uh, it, that happened very often. And the thing is. Because we have reached, I have explained it uh, a little bit before, because we have reached that support. But what I think, I think it's over already. So I think the, the market is going to come back uh, on its support within the next couple of days. I can be wrong, but um, uh, the market will have to prove me wrong. So, uh, and I think it's just a temporary uh, movement on the upside. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Daniel. So um, and uh, now uh, let's see uh, what what, uh, what we're gonna do with the, the other market. So I showed you what to do with the uh, with the energy market. Now let's uh, s let's see uh, what we have about uh, the the gold. The gold really uh, failed today, and uh, we it has passed the last support, going towards the next support. But the bottom of the year is over there where it was in July. So. To, to to explain it to explain it better so this is the low of the year that's where the gold is but look at the stocks this is the low of the year and the stocks are there while the gold is about here so and uh, that's the reason why uh, the, the the gold stock are not uh, plunging today even though the gold is plunging is because they are at the support already and i think the institution are making their best to save the sector because they have too much to lose uh, that's all they have too much to lose so and because if the, if ever the sector breaks this point where the seller stops selling every single time uh, it, it, it touches uh, it touched this uh, uh, price over the last uh, three months um, it, it tells a lot because that's the, the, the place we sh the, the price shouldn't go because if it breaks this level um, a lot of uh, a lot of people and institution are going to push on the panic button and it could uh, end up being quite a big drop in that so uh, I, th I, I think they will do their best uh, to avoid the sector to break down there so uh, if you have played the sector uh, on the downside I think you should keep your position and uh, but I don't think we should buy anything because the potential is too low there isn't enough potential that's worth the risk so far especially when you saw that this morning it was going down and at the moment um, right now it seems like uh, this uh, uh, increase we had this morning is over and it's very close to go down back to the low of the day so I, uh, I think we should expect the gold sector to go down in the afternoon so um, uh, we did not have uh, many news uh, this uh, today but we had a couple here and uh, we had a financial result from uh, uh, Costco, which uh, ended up doing nothing. And uh, it was a better result. They were expecting 166. They got 163. And uh, GCP uh, is going to uh, cut down 15% of its uh, of their job, and they're going to take a, a char an expense uh, charge of 55 million dollar. We'll be back, and I have a survey during the break. Decision Plus has been and still is a leading stock market service provider. From training to coaching, we cover it all. Try both our software as well as our coaching site, completely free for 10 days without obligation. No credit card is needed to sign up for the trial. The trial subscription will be automatically canceled for you at the end. DecisionPlus.com, your stock market service center. 
Market Vision Plus is the trading companion of so many investors. Make your fundamental and technical analysis easy with Canada's number one stock market decision making software. Research, decide, and follow your positions with Market Vision Plus. See the menus just above this program and try Market Vision Plus for 10 days without any obligation after the show. Okay, uh, thank you very much for answering the survey. Now we have uh, the, the answer of the first question. Uh, when prices are increasing, it's a wave of buyer, it's a wave of seller, and there's a good news. 80% of the uh, uh, um, uh, people answered the right question, and uh, no one said zero. So uh, I'm glad uh, you, have, uh, you have learned your, your uh, lesson. And uh, on now, on the second question, okay, let's go. Uh, uh. Oh, there we are. Uh, when the price of a stock jumps strongly and stop fluctuating, it's because the number of buyers and sellers are equal. There's a bid to buy the company at a fixed price, and uh, or both answers are possible. So 60% said it right because it is most of the time what happened, but it can also be the first answer, and 40% of the people. Uh, had answered it, answered it correctly. And uh, fundamental information always explained the fluctuation of prices. 20% said yes, 80% said no, and the, the correct answer is no. And uh, for the last question, let's go. Uh, okay, my, my finger is not hot enough. Uh, transaction volumes always influence the fluctuations of prices. Uh, that we have the same result, 20% said yes, 80% said no, and it is no. So, uh, oh, it's, pretty, it's getting tough to catch you guys, because uh, you are uh, have learned your lesson. Hey, look, before we go, I got to show you one thing. I was saying that it was just a pullback, and look what happened on the market while, uh, during the break. Uh, so the market broke down again, once more, NASDAQ, New York, the TSX and the SPY and everything and also the crude oil went down to the low of the day and the oil stock made a new low for the day and uh, the, uh, the, the, the gold is coming back down as well and the mining are coming back down and most of the sector started to go down again. So I wouldn't be surprised uh, then we lose everything even before the end of the day. So um, uh, there is that document. I want to give you a chance uh, to uh, load it. You have the document sharing button at the bottom. And this is the document that explains uh, why uh, the, the Canada is not in a recession. And it's such a document that has been, it, it, it's according to July information. But uh, it tells a lot. And um, in the meantime, I want to show you another sector that just broke down and, and quite hard. And it is the industrial sector. So let's go around and that see what we, what uh, who is responsible so look what happened and uh, and uh, it's um, uh, uh, the industrial sector is going down uh, after making uh, the, the top of its sideway movement this morning and actually it is CNR that is plunging at the moment erasing more and more of today's increase and CP may follow this movement a little bit later because they usually do about the same thing. So I thank you very much, folks, for attending the show today, and we'll see you back tomorrow, 12.30, on DecisionPlus.com.